Half a billion people store photos, videos, and other files on Dropbox. But until recently, those were sitting in someone else's cloud. Amazon's, to be exact. Now Dropbox has cut out Amazon and put the files on its own super servers. You may not notice the change, but it's an open challenge to the internet's biggest companies scrapping over the multi-billion dollar cloud computing market. We're storing upwards of 500 petabytes in our system that we have designed from scratch, which is known as Magic Pocket. A single petabyte is a million gigabytes. The entire written works of, of humankind in every single language since the dawn of time are around 50 petabytes. So for us, that's a couple of racks. 90% of Dropbox's data is now running on its new system, packed into some of the most dense hard drives to date. These are over a petabyte of storage per box. And this is basically as dense as you can physically get right now. Our limiting factors is physically how heavy these things are. This, you know, you're talking about the weight of a, of a car at least when you have a big rack of these. The boxes are so heavy that they can only fit eight on a rack. The densities that we achieve in this, in this storage platform weren't even possible even a year ago. It all sounds great, but it's actually a risky move for Dropbox. The company is a fraction of the size of its competitors, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. And it's faced doubt that it can live up to its $10 billion valuation. But the pressure doesn't seem to phase the team. At the end of the day, we believe we could do it better, right? So like, there's, again, there's only a number of companies that do this natively, and, and we feel like we have enough scale uh, to, to do it ourselves. Will it all pay off? The next few years will be crucial. Game on, server lords. Game on. <laughs>